Hi guys, uh, it's Chris. Um, this week on Gender Roles Are Dead, we are talking about a pretty heavy topic, um, depression, suicide, self-harm, and substance abuse. So I'm just going to warn y'all before you watch this that um, if those topics might trigger you, then um, maybe maybe sit this week out. Like, just, just a warning, so preface that. Um, this topic hits home for me a bit, so I'm actually going to be reading off something that I wrote this week while commuting to work. Um, I kind of just formulated all my thoughts um, about what I wanted to talk about in this video, so I'm sorry if it's a little bit awkward that I'm not looking at the camera a lot, but um, I just have some stuff written down. Um, my first bit of advice um, for maybe like trying to cope with depression or anxiety or like just like when you're having a hard time is um, maybe find some daily routines that will help lift you up. Uh, play your favorite album on blast, eat fruity pebbles on your bedroom floor, light your favorite candle, rearrange the living room, go for a run, take a bubble bath, uh, go to the pet store and play with puppies, drive somewhere, drive nowhere, um, sing at the top of your lungs, get dressed up for no reason, teach yourself to cook something, watch your favorite movie, um, build a pillow fort, call your best friend, find a creative outlet, like write or draw, go work out, um, or um, a really good one, go find some shit that you don't care about and take it to the nearest drainage ditch and just like smash the hell out of it, like to a million pieces. But then clean it up afterwards because like the environment is like important. Um, secondly, one of the biggest things, um, at least in my experience about being depressed is uh, you need to let people help pick you up off the ground. Uh, there are a handful of people who I owe my life to for either doing something as simple as texting me every morning that I was an amazing person or for coming over and crying on the floor with me of my living room and just like holding me for like hours or for like taking me out and making me have a drink with friends when I would have rather just like down two bottles of liquor on my own every night like at home. So I'm thankful to those people, uh, to teammates who distracted me, to family who hugged me and pretended I did not look shattered. Um, to my dog who stayed by my side every single night. Uh, you need to allow other people to help pick you up, but do not on the flip side of that use them as a crutch. Uh, you don't want to be left on the ground again if they decide to dip out, but let them hold your hand um, while you're your own steady legs to stand on. I think that that's really important. Third, um, Aside from that, there are tons of people who listen and offer you a shoulder to cry on. Whether it be your friends or family, a therapist, uh, and don't don't disregard therapy, it can be really, really helpful. Um, I know sometimes there's a stigma around therapy, but like going to therapy was one of the best things I've done for myself. Um, also, if you're in school, you probably have access to great counselors and therapists through your university or high school, so um, take advantage of those. Um, there's also strangers on the internet. Some of the greatest people I have ever met, I met when I, uh, when they reached out to me when they saw me posting negative thing after negative thing on Tumblr and were worried about me. So, um, strangers can be, like, a really unbiased, um, person to just, like, listen in your time of need. So, don't be afraid to reach out. Um, fourth, uh, as cliche as it sounds, it gets better. Uh, I've been through my own shit. Uh, I have a history of depression and anxiety. I have things in my past that like render me unable to get out of my bed some days. Uh, I've abused alcohol, <laughs> pills, and sex as an escape. I have done a good amount of things to hurt myself, to kill myself little by little. And I have towed that ledge, uh, contemplating the leap on my lowest days. Uh, so I'm not here to tell you that your problems aren't severe and that this isn't the worst part of your life. It may very well be. But I do believe life is amazing, and as hard as life has fought me on that and tried to sway my opinion, I still believe it at my core. Um, there are 7 billion people on this earth with varying stories to tell, so so many people to know and love and meet and learn from. There's so many countries and cultures to experience. There's music and books and food and beer and puppies and kittens to be played with, and so much more. There are 24 hours in this day and 24 in the next, and in the blink of an eye, your life can change. You can grow, you can learn, and fight, and love. Give yourself the chance to see some of this, to let it get better. Please don't take any of this as me belittling your experience. I've been there, and even so, my experience is not your experience. But life gets better if you let it. It may get worse sometimes, but my god, it can get better. It may seem dumb, but at some of my lowest points, this quote from J.K. Rowling really helped me. Uh, I may be paraphrasing a little bit, or this might be it exactly, but... Um, it goes something like, rock bottom was the foundation on which I built my life. 
Um, if you think you've hit rock bottom, just assure yourself you've just got a really firm ground to pick yourself back up on. To wrap up, I love you all. Um, my ass box is always open if you need to talk to someone, anonymous or not. Um, and I will be sure to list some resources below for anybody um, who might need those and feel free to share this and add your own resources. So hopefully, I mean, this was just my point of view, but um, this is a topic that really matters to me. So um, I really do love you guys. Let life get better um, and fight for yourself. So have a good one, y'all.